Okay. All right, we'll just do it last way. Sorry about that, George. Not a problem. All right. You ready? Yes, I am. Brother Linford, we just want to send our uh, best regards to you as you're in your recovery. And we just want you to know that we're praying for you and your family and your children and those, all of those around the world that are supporting you in prayer. And, and Linford, as you indicated to me that you just wanted to come over and, and spend time with us as a, as a mentor and as a brother and Messiah and as a father in this movement, we just, we just desire and covet your presence, but, but we also see a purpose through all this. And we just want to say, Linford, uh, we look forward to that moment when you will join our ranks again. And Kendra, we're just, our heart goes out to you, and may your spirit be strengthened at this time. To his honor and to his glory, uh, we commit this, this event that has happened in our lives. Linford, we lift you up in prayer <clears throat> before the Lord for your healing and recovery. We pray for you and your family. We miss you here. We love you. We want you to know that we want you to be here, but at the same time, you need to give yourself time to heal. We are so thankful that things are progressing in a good way for you. So again, we have prayer for you, and we want to just wish that you could be here. You matter. <laughs> yeah, we, it's, it's here. So pay attention. Hold on. Okay. Some of them are. Yeah. Would you step forward so I can see where whoever's on the back row? Linford, uh, we met you when when we were here in in Georgia in July, and we we appreciate your witness so much talking to you. We're praying to our Heavenly Father that you would be healed and healed quickly. And we're praying for your family and your loved ones as they are around your bedside. Linford, may the Spirit of God be with you. And may the power of God be healing in your body. That's what we're praying for. Hey, Brother Linford, uh, just miss you here. Um, looking forward to seeing you. So glad that you're um, you're appearing to be okay, uh, except for the surgery you need today. We pray for that. that that'll go well. Um, just praying Father, uh, for the Father to bless you and your family, and um, we just look forward to you know hearing that you're uh, getting home soon. And um, so just remember that we're all thinking about you this week. Uh, Brother Linford, I was really sad when we heard the news last night and uh, we've certainly been praying for you. And it's events like this that make us realize how important uh, people are in our lives. And you've been a blessing in my life from the material that I've read from you and the time we've spent together and the things you've shared with me. And, and uh, I just want you to know you mean a lot to me and I, I really wanted to see you, but I know our Father will work everything out. And if it's possible uh, that you can come, we know God can do anything. But, but if not, we just, uh, we just pray that uh, your healing will be quick and the spirit of blessing will be over you especially and Kendra and your family and all those close to you. Brother Linford, I know that if you were, could be here, you would see the moving of the spirit in a mighty way especially as dear brothers and sisters came together as we got on our knees to lift you before our Father. And what a joy that brings to our hearts to hear improvement and we want you to be here because you are our brother. And you know what? There is a bed waiting for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
there's a box, several boxes of books downstairs in the printing office waiting for you to share with others. Bless you, my brother. Linford, <laughs> we, are, we are all waiting expectantly for more news of your continual recovery. Amen. Our hearts are encouraged and blessed from these messages. Keep them coming. Uh, our Father is working in a mighty way for you, and we will continue to pray and lift you up. Let his life become your salvation and healing now is our prayer. Hey, Brother Linford, um, it's, uh, I'm sorry that you're not here right now. And uh, I really enjoyed our time that we spent together last time. We had a lot of time to fellowship together and be able to talk and um, discuss the Bible. And I'm um, thankful for all you do in your ministry. And, you know, we've been praying for you for the last couple days here. I just found out last night as I came here. And um, I'm thankful that uh, I hear that you're recovering. And I just want to pray for your family, um, Kendra, especially that uh, you guys all remain strong, especially for the children, and that um, they can recognize that this is for the blessing of the world so that all these things happen for, for the good of the people that are going to hear your message. And so that's what we can, we can count on, and we count on all joy that God is able to work a miracle, and we trust that and believe that. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. God bless. Brother Linford, uh, we were all sorry to hear of uh, the accident and uh, you've been in our hearts and our prayers. Uh, I've heard very good things about you and good words and it'll be really good to meet you one day, I hope sooner than later. We, we're praising our Heavenly Father for his wisdom and his loving kindness and we place you in his loving hands right now. God bless. Hi, Linford. We haven't met yet, but I feel like I've met you through the way uh, my brothers and sisters are speaking about you, and, and I'm really looking forward to meeting you in person. And I just want to praise the Father because through you and this experience, um, I'm sensing along in my heart that you're representing so many people right now that aren't whole, that, um, that are hurting, that are in pain, and our hearts are going out to all of them through you by the grace of our Father. And, um, and we're receiving this spirit of pressing together with one another Amen. so that he can be glorified through his body so that the world may truly see just how loving he is and, and be given a clear choice to, to have him as a savior, mm -hmm. to have him as a king. So. I pray his Father and I, and I pray that, that he gives us this experience in its completeness and then he gives you the experience in full, uh, full healing in every which way. Amen. 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 Let's continue to move this way so the camera can see the other people that are here. Um, you might remember us from uh, July, and uh, I just wanted to say one thing. Um, uh, you need to come on out of there and uh, give me a call, and I'd love to come up here and help you finish your water system. I think that would be neat to get involved with you. And uh, so uh, looking forward to you showing me how to fix your water system. Amen. Get well Amen. quick. Hallelujah. Hi, Lynn. Sorry to hear about it. Uh, We've really been praying for you, but I also wanted to say hello, Kendra. And right now, through the, I don't know how they do it through the computers, but I'm sending you a hug. <laughs> and Lynn, as a mother in Israel, I want you to listen to me. And I want you to listen to your doctors. Stay in bed. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Anyone else? Somebody's right here. Okay. 
Glenn, I just received the message that uh, your surgery is scheduled for this evening. Amen. We just prayed that your surgery would be today. Amen. And uh, it seems that God is, is bending to our schedule uh, for a miracle. We'd also like to arrange with you a short visit by Skype or some other form of technology. Um, you have to get at least well with one arm to be able to do that because, as you know, you're the only one there that's computer literate. So get well quick. Um, I miss you. I love you and you know. And everyone here loves you in the Lord and personally. So get out of that bed, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Len Ferd and Kendra, do you remember me? <laughs> Bobby Beck, it's been a long time, but I love you guys and miss you, and I just wish you, praise God, you're getting better. Praise y'all, thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. Someone else? Over here. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, here you go. There. No, that's fine, you go. Oh, go ahead. Hi, Linford. You don't know me, but that one. but um, I was there in July and was blessed. And I wanted you to know that uh, I was blessed by your material, and I've been passing it out to several people. Amen. And I pray for your quick recovery so that you can... Um, write and reach a multitude of people. Amen. Hello, brother. Uh, we're so thankful for you getting better already. We know that it's the Father's good will for uh, our bodies to heal themselves through his great physician care. And uh, we just want to encourage you by a testimony. I've heard of a man who was in a horrible accident with a truck and um, his brain was crushed and um, he used, I'm not working for this company, but he used um, the brain tincture from uh, Dr. Schultz in California. That number is um, www.herbdoc.com and the nerve tincture as well as you can use um, poultices, a lot of juices and poultices from the juice, the carrot pulp or whatever, right on those wounds. And uh, it's tremendous healing with the rest and the sunshine, the, the wonderful natural remedies that our Father has given us. They all work together for good because he wants to arise with healing in his wings, in our characters, and in our bodies, our minds, and our souls. And he is bringing you healing even now. And we thank you that you're not trusting in the drugs and um, these false things, uh, this pharmacaea, but you are trusting in the living Father who is able to um, heal you to the uttermost. And we just praise you, and we praise him, sorry. Praise him that he is working a good work in and on you and in your family even now. So thank you Amen. and Amen. bless you. Hi, Limford. I know I spoke before, but I just want to <clears throat> add to what our sister just said I want you to see my wife this is Dennis and Alora and my wife had a brain a terrible brain aneurysm six years ago and she is evidence and witness of the power of God in healing and in our lives so I want you to keep the faith dear brother keep looking to Jesus to give you and your family encouragement and we would all like to say Wait, I want to say something. <laughs> now it's my turn. Now it's our Linford, I just want you to know you'll get better. It happens. <laughs> because God makes you better. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes. Hey, Lemford. Um, we hate to hear the news about you, but we're glad that you're in good care right now and that the Father is blessing you at this time. Uh, we lift you up and we will be praying for you for the next, well, how many days do we have left? Seven? <laughs> so it'll be an ongoing prayer for you. And if there's anything at TRSC that we can do for you, um, Randy, that's your name, right? Randy? Randy. Randy, as he said, I was even thinking about talking with TRSC to see if maybe Doug and I can come up and help also. Amen. But God bless. Amen.